Good day guys, my name is Mahilan and I hope you guys are doing well. From the period of 1939 to 1945, world experienced a brutal war called World War II. In this World War II time, Australia participated in the war with, alongside with Britain and America. During that World War period, there were several military structures and missionaries constructed and installed by Australian military and many war strategies were followed by them. Even though all this happened a long time ago and most of the structures and missionaries were damaged and ruined, still we can visit some of them and this is being one of the tourist attractions in Darwin, Australia. So in today's video, we'll be going around and visiting few World War remains in Darwin, Northern Territory, Australia. If anyone here watching our channel without subscription, Please consider subscribing to our channel and hit the bell icon and without further delay, let's jump into the video. The first place where we are going to see all the war ruins is Charles Darwin National Park. This is the entrance board in Charles Darwin National Park and it carries some information about the war and this park. This park carries more stories to tell about the war. Let's go inside and see what we can witness here. Look at this old building guys. There are paintings of aircrafts on this building. This building was used to park aircrafts and also repair them during the period of World War II. Now it's just being an empty building and World War remain. This is an old bunker which was used during the World War. This was used as a defensive structure to store war equipment and to protect soldiers' lives during military attacks and bombing. This looks so natural which is caved out of a hill and served as a bunker. Now we are going to visit a place where rough explosives were stored during the war time. Here is an information board about this place and that place is called as bomb dumps. This is one of the stores where the Australian military stored fuel and explosives during the World War and it looks very old. The information about how they manage the ammunition stores has been shown in this board here. Take a look guys. History about this place is explained in this board. This was built in 1944 and they stored a lot of explosives in this place. There are a few photos on the bottom which took during the war period. There are a few photos on the bottom which took during the war period. Darwin is the northernmost city in Australia and anyone who is coming from north should attack Darwin first to enter Australia. To defend that kind of risk, it is shown here how Darwin used its naval forces back in the World War time. It is also shown what were the land-based military arrangements they had to defend the aircrafts entering from the north. During the World War II, in 1942 February, Darwin, Australia was brutally bombed by Japan. In this information board, it is explained how Japan expanded its territory step by step, got into Australia and bombed Australia. How the heavy bombs like 1000 and 1500 pounds were transported back in the days. The information about that is written here in this board. Trolleys like this were used to carry the bombs and missiles during the war time. The knowledge about how to work with bombs 
and handled the bombs was explained to the soldiers by hand-drawn diagrams and written notes. The details about that are shown here. The ammunition wood boxes which were used back in the days are exhibited here and all of them were painted in green color to represent military. The documentation of war events were also done during the war. Memories of 1942 is a book which carries the details about the war and war events during that period. There were a lot of letter transaction happened during the war period and all these documentation were done by a typewriter during the war period. After Japan bombed Darwin, how Australia got back stronger and pushed Japan back. All those details are mentioned here. The details about end of the world war and photos regarding them are exhibited here. There are a lot of bungers in this Charles Darwin National Park, among which only few of them are we can see. The one you are looking at now is number 8. This is an oil tank used during the World War and an operation room. These are also ruins from the World War. Now, we almost finished the Charles Darwin National Park. The next place we are going to go is a beach site called East Point Beach. This place is called as Dudley Point and this is the northern far point of Australia. Any enemies planning to attack Australia from northern side, they need to come passing this point. So this is a strategical point and there are a lot of military equipment and war structures built here during World War. It is said that there are more than 40 military structures built here and we are gonna go and have a look at few of them. This is the map of this place and the structures built here are denoted here. The legend shows us which structure was built in where in this map. Two big guns were installed in East Point Darwin in 1944 to repel the invasion of Japan. You are now looking at one of those two big guns. Come, let's go around and have a look at this massive gun. This is a massive military structure which was built with a gun and used to shoot down the Japanese air force which entered Australia during the war. Now this place is closed for maintenance and hopefully they will open soon. You guys can see the sea in the far 
and opposite to the sea there are a couple of bungas and a tower. This information board is almost fully damaged. This is the bunga building here and more than half of this building is underground level. We can go down and have a look inside. This is so damaged and it is very old building. There is also another building here. This is called an artillery store. Artillery stored in this building were used to attack the enemies who entered Australia from the direction of the sea. Technological structures were also used during the World War. The tower you are looking at right now was used to perform technological functions during the World War. There is also another bunga here which was used by the Australian military to protect themselves from bombing. As I said before in this video, there were two guns installed in East Point and the place where the second big gun was installed is right in front of us. It is facing sea and used to shoot down the flights coming from there. This is also another World War ruin in which military used to store explosives and bombs. This building is called Nightland Tower and it is a commanding position which was used to send and receive messages and other technology stuff. Alright guys, now we almost visited the ruins in East Point. The next thing we are gonna do is go to Darwin City and see the World War Memorial in Bicentennial Park, Darwin City. As you can see, this is the World War Memorial in Darwin City. Let's go near and have a closer look guys. On the bottom, the names of important officers are mentioned who died in the war. This memorial was originally erected outside government house in 1921 to commemorate those who had served in World War I. Then it is considered as a common memorial to commemorate all the war heroes from Australia who participated in other big wars too. In the bottom here, you can see the memorial message regarding the World War II and also on top, you can see this memorial is also for the heroes who died in Vietnam War. Borneo war heroes are also commemorated here in one side. 
Darwin and Listes in World War II are mentioned here in the other side. I reckon that's the wrap for this video guys. I hope you guys would have enjoyed this video. Please give a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos in future. I will catch you all in another beautiful episode. Till then, thanks for watching and cheers.